Relative frequency is the ratio of number of observations in a statistical category to the total number of observations. What does that mean in English? Well, it's simply the percentage of the things that do meet your criteria. We write the relative frequency as a decimal. Let's take a look at an illustration. Here we have six marbles. What percent of the marbles are red? Or what is the relative frequency of a red marble? Well, two out of the six are red. That's 33%. And so the relative frequency is 0.33. In our first exercise today, we have a sample of 300 people that was chosen, and we ask what kind of classes were their favorites. The results showed that 97 people liked English, 87 chose a math course, 62 chose a foreign language, and 54 chose a science course. There's a series of questions that we want to answer. First of all, let's fill in this table. We have the course, English, Mathematics, Foreign Language, or Science. And then we have the frequency, the number of people who chose that. The relative frequency for each thing is actually very simple. How many people liked English? 97 out of the 300. 97 out of 300 is 0 0.3233. 32.3 percent of the people chose an English class. Mathematics, we have 87 out of 300. 87 divided by 300 is 0.29. Roughly 29 percent of the people we surveyed chose mathematics. We could do the same thing for foreign language and for science. Now that we have that, we can answer a series of questions. What percentage of the people chose an English course? Well, that was 32.33%. What percentage of the people chose a science course? That's 0.1818%. What percentage chose a mathematics course or a science course? Well, now we're concerned with two categories, mathematics and science. 29% and 18% is 47%. The relative frequency that someone chose a mathematics or a science course is 0.47. What percentage of the people chose either an English course or a foreign language course? Once again, we're looking at the English and the foreign language, and we'll add them together. We find that about 53%, or 0.53 for the relative frequency, chose an English or a foreign language course. In our next exercise, we have the frequency table from yesterday. We want to calculate the relative frequency for each of these. We'll begin with the males who got an A. 9 out of 80 people were male who got an A. 9 divided by 80 is 0.1125, 11.25% of the class. Females who got an A, 12 out of 80. 12 divided by 80 is 0.15. 15% of the class were females who got an A. The total in that row is 21 out of 80. 21 divided by 80 is 0.2625. Now we're on to the second row. Males who got a B. 18 out of 80, which comes out to 0.225. 22.5% of the class were males who got Bs. The remaining values in this frequency table are for you to find. Please pause the video here and complete the table. Once you've completed the table, come back and check your answers before moving on to the questions. Please pause the video here. Here are the solutions to our relative frequency table. Check those values now. Once you've checked the values, you can answer the questions that follow. Please pause the video here and complete the exercise by answering the questions. Here are the solutions to our questions. What percentage of the participants earned a score of A? We look at the end of the A row and we see 0 0.2625, 26.25%. What percentage of the participants earned a score of B or C? We look at the end of the B and C rows and we add them together. 0.6375 is 63.75%. What percentage of the participants were male? We look at the bottom of the male column and we see 0.475, 47.5%. How about females? 
Look at the bottom of the female column, 0 0.525, 52.5%. What percentage were males who got an A? 0.1125 is 11.25%. Finally, what percentage were females who got an A? 0.15 or 15%. In our next and final exercise, we have the data from our survey from yesterday. We asked people whether or not they have a pet and whether or not they're allergic to animals. We completed the two-way frequency table. Now, we want to create a two-way relative frequency table. Please pause the video here, complete the table, and then come back to check your answers. Here are the values in the relative frequency table. How did you do? If your answers are correct, you're ready to move on to answer the questions. Please pause the video here and answer the questions that follow. We found that 6.4% of those that we surveyed are allergic to animals and have a pet. We saw that 12.6% are not allergic to animals and do not have a pet. We saw that 44.8% of the people we surveyed were allergic to animals, and we saw that 49% had pets. Remember, the numbers on the outer margins in the total row and the total column are called the marginal relative frequencies. The numbers inside the table are called the relative joint frequencies. This is everything you need to know to get started working with relative frequency in two-way tables.